Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. I've had a lot of men crushes in my life. I've had a lot of men take over my brain, take over my mind, and I'm gonna be sharing those with you guys today. Let's just get right into it, shall we? <laughs> 2012, I didn't even know what YouTube was. I'm at my cousin's house and I see the Maddie V raps. <laughs> I was like, whoa, like that girl is mine, like that girl is me. Um, 2013, Austin Mahone did not listen to his music, but I thought he was so cute. I had posters of him, I bought magazines of him. I never even listened to his music, I just thought he was really cute. And then I thought he looked like my cousin, and I was like, ew, no. <laughs> and 2015. This was my like prime time Disney Channel phase and obviously Jesse Cameron Boyce was really just always up my alley. So Luke was definitely someone who I was like ah, yeah. I also really enjoyed a good Ross Lynch moment. Mm, my God. Even on Austin and Ally to this day um he will be coming back up in the rankings um but Ross Lynch did take over my life for a good till now basically. And so did um did any of you guys know the show Kicking It? Jack? Jack was really <laughs> he really just knew the karate moves to get me going <laughs> and i was obsessed i wanted to be olivia holt and i wanted to i wanted to be with him basically okay <laughs> okay i'm kind of embarrassed about this one so please don't even like zach clayton oh pineapple hair zach clayton was right up my alley i was like i want him he is funny. He is cute. I want him. In the name you ain't taking, I'd rather have your number. 2017. You know who was popping? Jake Paul. You know what I was doing? Watching his videos every day, bro. I was watching his videos every day. My lizard Brody actually is named after Jake Paul. I literally went to his concert. I wanted to be a part of Team 10. He was my life, basically. Also, you know what else came out in 2017? It. And you know who was in that? Jack Dylan Grazer. He, <laughs> he was the love of my life. <laughs> I still love him. Jack, if you're watching this, hit my, just kidding. <laughs> 2018, I was getting to a lot of rom-coms at this time. To all the boys, Noah Centineo, I thought was the hottest man that has ever walked this earth. I wanted to be Lord G. And you know what also came out in that same year? The Kissing Booth, Jacob Elordi, and Joel Courtney. I don't know their names in the show, which is really weird that I know their real names and not their- Noah Flynn and- Noah Flynn! And, and Marco, Lee! Marco, Marco, Marco! And Lee! Wait, I thought you were talking about Marco. Like, no, 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 no. Noah Flynn and Lee, both of them I thought were so hot. That whole era of my life and the rom-coms, I was stuck in that for a good year. But it was fun. Okay. You're reaching. <laughs> don't come for me, y'all! I had- uh, a little Zan face. But what the hell, but <laughs> Um, that Betrayed music video was just too good. And I was like, you are looking so motherfucking fine, Lil Zan. Like, I, don't, I was like, Lil Zan, like, I love you, bro. Like, and that's, I didn't even listen to any of those songs. I literally just listened to that song and I was like, yep. I was like, he's the one. 2019, Five Feet Apart came out. Cole Sprouse, he was so hot. I, <sighs> yeah. 2020, Ethan Kostowski, watched Shameless for the first time, was obsessed with him, always. Sway Boys, Noah Beck and Blake Gray, I don't know why that duo got me, it got me, and it got me good. Rudy Panko, Outer Banks, got me so bad. And then Shawn Mendes, I don't know why, that Wonder video, he was looking so good. Oh, and we can't forget about Charlie Gillespie um, and Julian the Phantoms. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. His hair is down here. <laughs> Ew. And he has a beard. Ew. <gasps> Second intermission for Brody. Got no tail and a broken back. Tavia. 2021. Probably. <laughs> 2021. Probably my favorite year yet. Industry Baby came out. Jack Harlow. <laughs> um, But Jack Harlow actually looked so good in that video and I can't even explain it, but he just actually. <laughs> Um, but Jack Harlow took over my life. And then shortly after that, all I could think about was Vinny Hacker. Oh my God. Until this day, Vinny Hacker is the hottest man to ever walk this earth, period. 2022, Tyler, oh my the gosh. creator. That was such a coincidence. <laughs> 2022, Tyler, 
the fucking creator. I don't know why, but after his concert, he was just looking so good. I was like, yeah. ASAP Rocky, Ross Lynch. I told you he would come back up in the storyline. Um, well, I went to his concert with Aaliyah. Um, and we were, uh, I've never seen Aaliyah have a bigger smile on her face. And oh God, yo, I'm sorry. I had to, I had to intervene. Yo, he looked at me two times. <laughs> I saw that man with my two eyes. And you know what else came out in 2022? Elvis. <laughs> and you know who I'm obsessed Austin with? Butler. Austin Butler. Till this day. <laughs> Austin Butler is here. Elvis is here. And Elvis, I actually genuinely listen to his music all the time. So it's not a phase. Everybody last one. 2023, Outer Banks season three came out. Drew Starkey, he was looking real good. Sociopath, but he was looking real good. Harry Styles and Montel Fish was looking real good after I saw him on stage. I actually touched him. I touched him like this. I saw him in concert and I, like now I'm like, Ugh, but then when I saw him, I was like, yeah. We have now hit this year. This year, Vinny Hacker has slowly just crept right back into my life. After seeing that video with Tara Yummy, I watched The Notebook also recently and Ryan Gosling is actually dead ass one of the most gorgeous people I've probably ever have laid eyes on. Oh yeah, but Ross Lynch, Vinny Hacker, and Austin Butler will always have a special place in my heart and Elvis and Tyler. They'll always have a special place in my heart and they will never leave my obsession. Honorable mention. Actually, no, that's weird. I'm not gonna say that because that's a cartoon character. But Flynn Rider from Tangled. We're just gonna end it there. We're gonna end it there. We're gonna end it there. So just wanted to mention that this video idea is fully Tara Yummies and I love Tara so much. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys agree with any of my people or if you guys also have obsessions with people who like you literally just have to get off your chest or else you're gonna go insane, let me know. Cause I would love to know. And I love talking to you guys and I really appreciate it. And I love you all so very much. And I loved making this video. And I was just trying to be really sarcastic and funny. Um, so that's why it was weird. But I hope you enjoyed it. Cause I was filming with my sister and we had a lot of good fun laughs. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.